Hey yo, what up wrestling gurus and welcome for another podcast. And in this podcast, it will be a money in a bank edition. And we all know that money in a bank pay-per-view will be here less than what, two weeks my friend? Yeah, yeah about two weeks, I'm pretty sure. And I'm looking forward to it, I know you are. And tell all the viewers who you are. Uh, my name is Logan, but you can follow me on Twitter at Blaine SZN. And yeah, that's about it. It's been a while since we talked on Skype, yep. alright my friend? Yep, yes sir. When last time we talked again? I think it was about like midway through April. Damn, yeah, been a while. Yeah, you are at school, so yep. I'm off today, so this is a perfect time. Time to make the podcast. Yeah, okay, first thing we are going to discuss is the history of the Money of Bank. We're going to make this short and sweet. The very first one was WrestleMania 21. Was in Los Angeles, California. My mm-hmm. friend named Tony Talent was there live, Lucky Duck, and um, it was like the the fall of '05, and Edge was getting, getting screwed of the become main guy, and he finally became the main guy when he uh, won the Money Bank, and he beat the crap out of every single guy. The only guy I really remember. It was Chris Benoit, and a lot of people hate when I say that, but it happens, and it sucks that he um, killed his wife and his son. He should be in the Hall of Fame, but it's never going to happen. And um, and it was kind of cool. He used the what? What, what did he use to knock out um, Chris Benoit? Knock out Chris Benoit. Yeah, on the ladder. What did he use? He used a weapon, didn't he? I, honestly, I have no idea. I think he used a chair, I think. I don't know what he used. But I remember he just I remember him beating the hell out of Benoit though. Yeah, and they had a great few. Can you imagine if Chris Benoit won instead of Edge? Can you guys can you guys imagine out there? What about you? Can you imagine? Well, I mean you can't even picture it this way. If Benoit wanna would have won the money in the bank briefcase and he would have been a world champion, the big incident that happened with him might not even occur. He that's, might still be alive today. That's true, but you, you never know, but I'm kind of. I mean, I'm kind of. He would have been a world champion. He would have been on the road. He wouldn't have had any of the family issues that he had. Yep. He, yeah, but a bunch of this. Yeah, but uh, I'm kind of glad that Edge won because he was a f- uh, former tag team champion with a uh, Christian, and I thought, and probably a lot of people thought, he would never become the main guy. And I'm happy he finally became the um the main guy. And I love his new gimmick, the Raider Superstar Edge, and it fits him, you know. Yep. And the yeah. ultimate opportunist. Oh yeah, and then he he did it. So how many times did he cash in in the Money Bank? Twice. Uh, yeah, twice because he won it that year. He cashed in on John Cena at New Year's Revolution, yep. the 2006. Yep. And then he also won it from Mr. Kennedy. Yeah. In 2007. Yep. And then he cashed that in on Undertaker and won the world title off of that too. Y- yes, and it was you know Edge had a great success, Hall of Famer. Too bad. Um, he had to retire because of injury, and that sucks. That's all part of the entertainment business. Uh, yeah. What's your thoughts on this Money Bank, the very first one? Do you think it was a great success? Uh, well, at that time, and there would be, they needed something new, something to spark that WrestleMania, and I think the Money in the Bank match did that. Oh yeah, and it kicked yep. off. It kicked off WrestleMania 21. And yeah, it did. Or did it kick off, or was it the Eddie and I- versus um, Ray match? I think it kicked off. I don't. I think it was the Ray. I don't know. I think it was the Ray versus um. um Maybe yeah, on Ray versus Eddie, they did. Yeah, I, the I think from my opinion, game. I think the Money Bank uh should kicked off. Yeah. Because it's longer, you know. Yeah. Um. Okay. Next one was WrestleMania 22, correct? Yep. And it was the Chicago, or actually yes. Rosemont. I had a chance to go, my viewer, but uh, my mom was trying to get tickets for me, but. It was gone in less than 15 minutes or less because it was a great card, a great build-up, and it was still part of the, the TV-14 era, you know? Yep, right at the end of it. And RVD was part of it, and I don't know who else part of it, and I'm kind of glad that he finally won the major belt. And a great moment. Um, what's your thoughts on that match, anyway, for WrestleMania 22? Uh, I, I have shades of the match, but I don't fully remember what happened. I just remember a few of the other participants. It was... Rob Van Dam wasn't Bobby Lashley a part of it? I think so. And Benjamin, Bobby Lashley, Benjamin, yeah, Shelton Benjamin. Yeah, there are a bunch of other guys, but I just remember. I don't fully remember the match, but I just knew it had to be good. Yeah, it was good, and 
I'm kind of glad that RVD won, like I said earlier, and he cashed it in. Actually, he challenged John Cena. Actually, he should cash it in like like John Cena did. I mean, like Edge did, but RVD was a the face. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, at One Night Stand 2006, right? Yeah, he should just did like a sneak attack, but yeah. what, whatever. But um, he was good. I guess he was uh, face versus face, right? And One Night Stand. Yeah. Well, and Cena, like, he, he they did it at the ECW arena, so Cena was basically a heel. Yes. Because he yeah. just got booed out of the arena, but, but technically, he was a face. He, technically, he's a face, yeah. Yeah, he was a face, but the crowd treated him as a heel. Oh, yeah. But um, it was good. Good pay-per-view. Good match. Okay, now um, for WrestleMania 23, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. And that was in what we're at? Uh, Detroit, Michigan. Oh, my gosh. That was awesome. Um, my friend named um, Lucas went to the event. I think he did. And that was a great one. Um... <laughs> That's one when Mr. Kennedy won, correct? Yes, Mr. Kennedy won. And where Randy Orton RKO'd CM Punk off the top of the ladder. And uh, Jeff Hardy did a... Um, and Jeff Hardy did the leg drop, 30 feet leg drop onto Edge. Yeah, broke the ladder. And it's kind of yep. sucked that uh, Mr. Kennedy, um, he won and I think, what, that money he got hurt? Was it on the... On the, on the yeah, it was, it was like a month later and that's when they gave it to Edge. And yeah, he, that, that sucks. That he was, he was, I think he was injury prone, right, Kennedy? Yeah, I saw, I think it was too. Can you imagine? They should just give it to Kenny, but he was hurt. If he was healthy, do you think he'd be um, a good champion? I don't think he would have been. I mean, he was he was world champion in TNA, and he didn't do anything in TNA. Yeah, see, and I, don't, I don't think he was really ready for the um, main event. Not at all. Nope. But you never know. I mean, he might come back. Yeah. In, in, you you never know. He might come back in the future. You never know. Yeah. Um. Now for WrestleMania 24, it was in Orlando, Florida. Uh, no, was it Orlando, Florida? Yeah, yeah, it was Orlando Citrus Bowl. And my f friend named I don't know if you heard him named Gold. He was there, and it was a great atmosphere. Um, I forgot who won that one. Who won that one? Uh, Punk, right? CM Punk. Yep, and it was great. He was a young guy, and uh, of course, when you first won the Money in the Bank, you don't ho hold the title that long, and that's kind of sucks, you know. Um, you know, he's a. I think he's a future Hall of Famer. I don't give a shit what anybody says out there. He's a future Hall of Famer. Because he he held a belt, he he broke a lot of records, and I think he yeah. he's a future Hall of Famer, like I said earlier. And I really like that um, Money in Bank lot of thing. John Morrison was part of it. Yeah, John Morrison, Shelton Benjamin, uh, Jericho. Yep. I remember that match. That was really good. Yeah, that MVP. Was one of the best ones. MVP was there. Um, MVP. Matt uh, Hardy returned at the match. Yeah, that was a great. Yeah, because they had a little feud. Um, that yeah. Fight, I think that um springtime or. Yeah. That spring. Yeah, that was awesome. And um, and um, I think that's about it, really. Yeah, nothing spectacular happened, but it was a good match. Yeah, then the rest of what, 25? 20, yeah, now on to 25. Um, what, what was it at, 25? Uh, Houston, right? Was it? It was in Texas, I know that. Hey, can you do me a favor? Can you look it up real quick? Yep, I'll look it up. Yeah, in the meantime, he's going to look it up. I know, sorry, guys, we're not, you know, we're not that, um, remember but money bank is a great success um i'm kind of glad that y2j invented it too bad he did not win um it but he'd been a lot of a lot of um money bank um um money bank yeah. matches at reliance stadium in houston texas okay who won that one uh cm punk again didn't he yeah, back to back. Say, I think he's I'm the only sure. guy. He's the only guy who won back to back, and I think his second title run was a little longer, right? Yes, I think it was. What year was that? 2009. Okay, it was a little longer. And uh -huh, it I think, was. I think that's the time you cashed in on Jeff Hardy, right? And when he yep. turned heel? And that was, extreme rules he cashed in. You know, it was great. They had a great feud, I think so. And I really, hopefully, I know this is not going to happen, but anything is possible, if Jeff Hardy could come back, and maybe possibility that CM Punk came back. I know he just got married. He's going to get married this Friday. That's what I heard rumors. He's going to get married to um, AJ Lee. So, lucky guy. But, um... That was a great match, a great, lot of great moments. Uh, what's your thought about WrestleMania 25 for Money Bank? 25, Money in the Bank. Uh, nothing spectacular happened in the match, but I just remember it being overall a good match, and the show wasn't the best WrestleMania ever. But No. Now, WrestleMania 26, Phoenix, Arizona. I was there live, in living color, with my folks, and because we, we were visiting my family, my uncle and my aunt, so we made a trip out of it, and... Um, the one who won it is Steven Bridgeberry, it's Jack Swagger, 
Yeah, come on. Um, that, that it kind of sucks that he. I mean, it was good he won it, but it kind of sucks how we cash it in and smack yeah. him because everyone know about it because they're freaking spoilers. Now, if W was smart, they should done it on live on Raw. You agree or disagree? But, yeah, everything. If the if a big event ever happens in WWE, I think it should never happen on SmackDown. Never, no, no, no. Pay per view or Raw. Raw. I mean, that's just my opinion. What's your thoughts on Money Bank for that pay-per-view for WrestleMania 26? For 26, uh, let me see who was all in it. Kofi, go, Kofi did all, all Kofi. Yeah, when he did the stilts. I yes, that was that. awesome, yes. Yeah, I remember that. That was a cool plot spot in the yes. match. Yep. So what do you think about uh, WrestleMania 26? you like it, dislike it for Money Bank? Uh, Money in the Bank. Yeah, it was a good. It was a good Money in the Bank too. I remember that one. But do you prefer someone else in Swagger, or or do you think Swagger was a perfect time to become champion at the time? Uh, the only, there's only other one other person in the match that was in it I could see winning, and that was Drew McIntyre because he was having a big run at the time, and I could have seen him winning it. Yeah, but for but some, now they just turned him jobber now. Yep, it's sad. Mick Carter in the. He's got to break away from that group. Sorry, we had to get off the yeah. subject, but he's got to get away from that group, from my point of view. But maybe, yeah. one, maybe one day he will. What? What are you going to say now? Yeah, he should just break away from 3MB. Okay. WrestleMania 27. They didn't have one, right? Nope, they didn't have one. And that, it 26 sucks. is the last one. And it sucks because a lot of people say, is this the year they're going to have it? And no, wait, wait. Let me rephrase that. <clears throat> okay, so after 26, they finally decided they have it. The own pay per view. It was yep. 2011. 2010, actually. Okay, sorry, 2010. It was in Kansas City, Wait, Missouri. One second. Yeah, Money in the Bank 2010 was the first one. Yeah, it was a great success. So that's why they decided to have their own pay per view. And who won it that year? It was. Um, uh, for the SmackDown Money in the Bank, Kane won it. And yeah. for the Raw Money in the Bank, The Miz won it. And I was not a big fan of The Miz because he wasn't that really. Um, not, I don't know if he was ready because the way he came from, like the um, um, reality shows, and they just push him too far. I mean, too, they push him too fast. And um, yeah, he beat um, um, Randy Orton. He cashed Randy in Orton in, in November. Yeah, on Raw, of course. And of course, um, Michael Cole just um, like um, he went ape shit, and I was not really a big fan of that. But it's what it is, what it is. Uh, he became champion. He headlined WrestleMania that year. Um, no, oh wait, no, he, he wrestled me. Um, he had a wrestled me the following year, right? Yeah, following year or something. And it really seven. pissed me off that it was no WrestleMania for WrestleMania. I mean, no money bank for WrestleMania twenty seven. A lot of people thought it's gonna happen, but no, they had a pay per views for um money bank for two thousand ten and two thousand eleven. Okay. So two thousand ten, back was I said two thousand ten. What's your thoughts on money bank for two thousand ten? You you like it, dislike it, or or not really? Well. At first, I wasn't so sure about them not doing the Money in the Bank at WrestleMania and having its own pay-per-view, but now as the years have gone by, I'm actually grown on to liking it. Yeah, but it was kind of cool to have the Big Show. Yeah. I said, what the hell, Big Show in it? And they, yeah. they had a very sturdy uh, ladder, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I remember that. And they the had CM Punk, he had, CM Punk had a mask on because, I guess, a couple of days ago, he got his head shaved off from, I think, the, uh, the Big Show. He had a few with Big Show, right? Yeah. No, it was it no, it was not Big Show, it was the Rey Mysterio for Wrestling. It was Rey Mysterio, yeah, the big show he got into the feud somehow. Huh? Yeah. That was a, I think that was a stupid sh of feud. Big show and um Big Show and, and um Punk that was dumb feud. Yep. Um Then the next Money Bank was what? Money Bank two thousand eleven, correct? Yes. And uh Daniel Bryan get... he won the SmackDown Money in the Bank and Alberto Del Rio won the Raw Money in the Bank. Yeah, both great spots. I was alive. And I was on the floor. I mean, it was okay seats because I should have went a little higher because I could see everything. But uh, the, the atmosphere is awesome. I think I have video footage, so check it out, my viewers. Money Bank 2011. Um, the place went nuts when people said, boo, Cena, of course, Cena sucks. Like, like usual when they come to Chicago. And the place went nuts when uh, CM Punk become champion. Um, you know, it was his last contract. It expires, I think. Right? Yep. And it was great. What are your thoughts on Money Bank 2011? Money in the Bank 2011 is probably one of my favorite WWE shows I've watched in its in WWE's whole entirety. Do you have uh, do you have a DVD or do you have the WWE Network? What? You have the WWE Network or DVD? I have both. Oh, I have wow. the network and I got the DVDs. I love that. It's awesome. Yeah. Now, 
Money Bank 2012. Uh, where was it at? Uh, Money in the Bank 2012. Let me look this up real quick. Okay. Yeah, Money Bank is awesome. Um, if you've never been to a Money Bank Live, my viewers, to any of WrestleMania or Money Bank itself, I recommend you go there because you never know. You might see a cash in. Uh, Money in the Bank 2012 was in Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah, and that's the former home of WrestleMania 26. Who won that one? Uh, Dolph Ziggler won one, and I'm pretty sure, uh, let me find the other one. John Cena. Yeah, I was not a big fan of when John Cena won. That was kind of stupid because he lost it a couple of days ago or whatever. But um, It was like, yeah, Raw, two weeks later, he cashed it in and he lost. Yeah, and then that would, it's not 100% no more, so that's good. So, um... What do you like better, the Raw one at the time or, or SmackDown brand at the time? Uh, Cena won the Raw and Ziggler won the SmackDown. I think the, I think the, the SmackDown was better, I think. Uh, yeah, the SmackDown one was better because it had a lot more people in it. Yeah, in young the, guys, in, young guys, young guys. The Raw only had Cena, Kane, Jericho, Big Show, and The Miz. Yeah. I don't think Big Show will ever be, should be in it again, but that's just they need a big guy, I guess. But they need someone to fill an open spot. Yeah, just to fill in. Um, it was a good one. A lot, a lot of key spots. And um, that's all I'm going to say. If you've never seen it, if you have W Network, W Network, look it up. Or if you have it on TV, look it up. Now, 2013, right? Last year, right? Or two years ago? It was last yeah, last year. Yeah, last year. Where was it at last year? Uh, it was in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Home, Former home of ECW. Who won that one? Uh, Damian Sandow won the SmackDown, and let me see, Randy Orton won the Raw one. Yeah, once again, then, and then, um, then Randy Orton cashed it in on Daniel Bryan on, um, this, this past summer in the rest of history, and, and they had a great, uh, Randy Orton had a great feud with Jacita and, and, uh, TLC, the suburb, and you know what happened? And then uh, Damian um, he he um, who we lost to Dan Damian? Didn't like Cody Rhodes beat him out of it or something? I, I I'm not. No, he really didn't. Don't remember they, what all happened. Had, they just had a few for the belt. I mean, for they had a few, but not for the um briefcase, you know. Yeah, I don't remember what happened with it. I just remember Cody Rhodes threw it in the ocean on one. Yeah, it's just a briefcase, and later on, he had a new one, like a, a brown one, then he put yeah. like a handcuff on, then then he lost a briefcase to, I think, Cena? I forgot uh, how it happened. I don't remember yet. But uh, now, Damien is now a jobber. That sucks. Isn't it? Yep, sad. I think I think he pissed off someone backstage, maybe like Triple H or Vince or Stephanie, but it kind of sucks that... Um, I know we get off subject here. He's great talent, but I think eventually he's gonna get off his contract. When his contract expires, he's gonna leave and go TNA probably. That's just my yeah. guess. But um, it was a great one last year. Now, um, before we discuss about this year, what's your thoughts about last year's? You like it, dislike it, or you don't care? Uh, last year, the the one with the uh, raw money in the bank was probably one of my favorite money in the banks I've ever had because it was Randy Orton. RVD, Punk, uh, Dana Bryan, Sheamus, and Christian. Yeah, that too was bad. A really too, bad match. too bad Christian never won the money being he should before he hung it up. I know he's, I guess he's injured again, correct? Uh, yes, I'm pretty sure. I he's always know. injured, you know? Man. Mm hmm. Or maybe just um, laying low until his contract expired, like CM Punk, you know? So, I don't know, but now we're going to discuss yep. about. This one, current one, is going to come June 29th at the, where we're at this time? The, I think it's the TD Garden in Boston. Yeah, Boston. Home of the Boston Celtics. So, um, go ahead and run down who's on this card right now on a money bank. Okay, here we go. Uh, Alberto Del Rio, he qualified two weeks ago at SmackDown. Uh, Cesaro qualified. This week by beating RVD, uh, Sheamus qualified by beating Bad News Barrett. Randy Orton was just placed in the match by yeah, Triple H. Yeah, I don't agree with that, but whatever. Uh, and uh, Bray Wyatt qualified on SmackDown. 
Yeah, spoiler, sorry. So, but um, I guarantee that I told my viewers who's listening, I guarantee that John Cena will be part of this. You agree or disagree, my friend? Uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to be a part of it too because he's had a feud with Bray Wyatt for going on about four months now, and there's just nowhere else that he could go but in this match. Yeah, because after the. I thought it's gonna end that um, payback. It makes more sense. Paybacks, you know, they always say payback's a bitch, but I guess yep. they want. I guess they want to continue that feud at the uh, money bank. That'd be great um, for the first time. I forgot to mention uh, because Dana Bryan had to surrender his belt. That sucked, but I think I guarantee that Dana Bryan will become W World W World Heavy Champion for the first time in W history. Instead, a briefcase is gonna have the belt online. So, what's your thoughts on that one? Uh. I'm fine with it. I just I hope they have another one where there is an actual a briefcase involved. Yeah, in cash it. maybe it'd be for SmackDown, huh? Yeah, for yeah. It has to be because I just hopefully it's not cash in that night same night. That will suck. Maybe they'll do it around WrestleMania thirty one, Rumble. It all depends how W wants to book this shit, you know? Yeah, just to make it something something exciting. Yeah, but I love money in bank. I just hopefully uh, the money in bank um if they're gonna have briefcase I don't know how they're gonna kick off the show. Is they gonna have single matches, or they're gonna have uh, the the title hanging up, you know, drooping um, uh, um, above the ring, the main event? Hopefully, it's the main event. I mean, more sense, you know. Yeah. But there's, st there's still two open spots left. Yes. For the Money in the Bank match. That'd so be I'll great if be like a mystery opponent, you know. Yeah, we're guessing one of them's gonna be Cena. Yes. We don't know the other one. I. This is my theory. Let the two um, mystery guys um, be this money coming up. Don't do it at SmackDown. I know they do it for Wyatt. Yeah. I understand, but don't do it to more, no more guys. That's it. Uh, w okay? If you're listening, no more. How many guys total for the whole money bank this time? Seven. How many? What's the biggest money bank? In, I think there's. I think there was eight. It. The first one. I don't. I'm not too sure. Was it WrestleMania 26? Or was it a lot or no? WrestleMania 26, yeah, I think there were eight, eight or nine in there, too, yeah. You know what they should do? What? Um, they should have, for the first time in, in W history, it's going to happen, make a tag team money bank, you know? Yeah, that would be pretty neat. But I don't think everybody wants to do that, because it, I think that people get burned out with the money bank. I don't think they ever want to do that. Or do that for the IC belt or the US, you know? Yeah, but for something we'll, else. Yeah, because they, they could help out... Um, mid Carter. Yeah, I think so. And they should do it for the Divas, I think. Mm -hmm. But uh, probably people will get burned out. But um, are you going to look forward to watching this sucker? For what? Are you looking forward to watching Money Bank pretty soon? Yep, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I think it's going to be a good pay-per-view because I'm pretty sure we're going to get this Money in the Bank match. We're probably going to get a Seth Rollins and Triple H versus the what's left of the Shield and the Tag Team match. Yep. So I'm guessing. It's, and yeah. And they get, still got uh, Bad News Barrett's going to defend the IC title. Yeah. So This is my favorite. Yeah. I think I think W should just let him drop the IC belt because he's not going to go anywhere with the damn belt. Same thing for the U.S. belt. They should just merge it. Maybe at Money in Bank they could do that, you know? Yeah. Because that's I, the rumors I, they're going to... I would hope that they would uh, separate the main card titles now. What do you mean? The, like the, the World belt and W belt? Yep. Yeah. The world in WWE. I want the world to go back to SmackDown and the WWE to stay on Raw. That's how I think it should be. So you think it's not working out, is it? Uh, I don't think it is at all. Yeah. Why? Because I... SmackDown, I mean, it's been like a good two years, three years since I've watched a SmackDown from start to finish. And I like the brand splits where I like because it gives you something. Because, I mean, the same guys are both on Raw and SmackDown every single week. Yeah. I mean, I want... A group of guys to be on Raw and a group of guys to be on SmackDown. I agree. And it gives you, so you can watch both shows and you don't. Because I mean, if you watch Raw and SmackDown now, it's basically just the same thing. It, they've been do, they've been doing that when they had a damn draft. The draft was just pointless, you know. Yeah. So I'm kind of glad they got little, little, I'm kind of glad they got rid of the draft because a couple of months ago, for example, John Cena got um uh got uh, traded to um, SmackDown because a couple of months um ago. They look like the draft didn't matter, you know what I'm saying? Yep. So, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, and they should never ever, I know this had nothing to do with Money Bank Podcast, they should never ever drafted 
uh, announcers, you know what I'm saying? That was stupid. That was stupid. But really? I hope I hopefully see some holy shit moments. Like um uh, maybe um a shocking appearance of maybe Kane or maybe a shocking appearance of Lesnar maybe to yeah. um because I know he's like the number one contender because he, he beat the streak of Taker, so Paul Heyman's keeps seeing that every raw um like um you know, every pay per view is like come on, you know what I'm saying? So maybe he might make a, a appearance money bank, but I doubt it. Maybe he's just gonna say that Appearance for summertime, you know? Yeah. I have a question for you, Rara. Go ahead. Who do you think will be the seventh guy in the Money in the Bank? So you think it's going to be Cena, Orton, Del Rio, Cesaro, Sheamus, and Wyatt. There's still one guy left. Who do you think it'll be? I don't know. It could be anybody in the roster or maybe a guy we have not heard in a while. Who do you, th who do you think it will be? All right. I'm going to branch out on a limb right here. I'm guessing it's either going to be Adrian Neville or Sami Zayn. Who are they guys? From NXT. Oh, I don't follow NXT, so I have no clue. It's going to be Adrian Neville or Sami Zayn. I'm just going out and just guessing. Yeah, now, least, if least, if I had to pick between one of the two, I would have to probably say Adrian Neville. Yeah. Do uh, you think it would be Bo Dallas? There's no way it would be Bo Dallas. He's not, way too... I mean, I, I just couldn't see it being him at all. Not yet, huh? Uh-uh. You don't think... That'd be great if they put Dolph back in it. You know... I know he lost, but they should put him in there, you know? Yeah. Or, for this push, Seth Rollins might even get be getting, it might even be Seth Rollins. They might give him the title. Oh, I, God. Now with, the, guess. now with his gimmick, you know? Mm-hmm. His gimmick. But his, I could, his, well, right his, now, I can see it being him and Triple H versus what's left of the Shield. So, who do you want to become W World Heavy Champion in Money Bank? Any odds? Uh, if I had to put my money on somebody... I would have to say it'd be Orton if I had to guess. Yeah, I'm that's who it's gonna be. But who I want it to be, I want it to be Cesaro or Wyatt. Yeah, I want Wyatt because you know he's doing great. But if he Wyatt wins, how long can he hold the W World Heavy Title? Maybe until summertime until um um maybe until Dana Bryan comes back. You know. Well, I think it's like I don't know. I could. There's so many ways it could go. I could see it being. I I think it's gonna be Orton. That's who just because WWE loves Orton. They're going to give it to him. But, I mean, I'd love to see Wyatt win it. But when Dana Bryan comes back, he's going to feud with the champion because they're going to put the belt back on him. Yeah, that's good. So, but Wyatt and Dana Bryan have already had a feud. So I couldn't see it being Wyatt. That doesn't seem too legitimate. So you tell me, whoever becomes a Money Bank champion, you know, the uh, whole... Yeah. Um, that means Dana Bryan's going to become... Um, he, he's going to be in the mix for the title, uh, title shot? Yeah, because when Daniel Bryan comes back, I guarantee that they're going to put him back up there with the title. So okay, be a, at may, least they're they better. Sorry, maybe it'll be a triple threat match between Daniel Bryan, Lesnar, and the current champion for Money Bank, huh? Yep. Yeah, but I mean, then, then uh, whoever won the Money Bank will be have a short title run then. Yeah. That's not fair. Uh -uh. I still don't see them get, putting the title on Lesnar. No, but they because said... They, they said... Um, I know my viewers, we, we are just going to discuss about Money Bank, but we get getting a little subject here, so hopefully you're still enjoying it. But anyway, uh, they said um, he, he deserves, um, when, when he beat um, Lesnar, I mean, when he beat the um, Taker at WrestleMania 30, he's the number one contender. Well, well, I don't think he's deserved anything, because Undertaker personally chose Brock to beat the streak. Yeah, that's true. Undertaker wanted him to end the streak. He didn't want anyone else to do it. I mean, let, Vince wouldn't have Brock win it. I mean, he let Undertaker choose who he wanted to end the streak. Yeah. And second of all, I read Brock Lesnar's book about six months back, and he said that if he leaves, has one more promise, it will be to never travel on the road again. Because back in 2002, 2003, his breakout years, he, he was doing, I mean, he was popping pills, he was drinking vodka, everything. That's what he said. He admitted it in his book. Oh, and he wow. said he's never going to travel on the road again. Why? And if he's a champion, they're probably going to make him travel on the road unless he's a rock. Yep. So, I, I couldn't, I don't see him putting the title back on Lesnar. But, so, long story short, I have, I want Bray Wyatt to win or Cesaro, but I have, I see Orton winning the title. Yeah, you never know, but I just hopefully it's a good show. Yeah, overall, um, it's going to be a good show. I'm yeah, uh, I've been to Money Bank. Actually, I've been to two Money Banks. One for WrestleMania 26. Great show. 
Um, that sucks that what we discussed a bit earlier about Jack Swagger. That sucks they they kind of ruined it because SmackDown they should have done that on Raw, and yep. you you agree with that, right? Yeah. It sucks. Like, I said, like I, I said earlier, no big event should ever happen on SmackDown. Yeah, none, none. You don't, you know, pay per views, uh, nothing, you know. Uh, especially cash ins, you know, you know, yeah, cash ins, whatever. And then Money Bank 2011, great pay per view because the CM Punk, John Cena, the whole build up is a great idea. And then it's probably and, one of my favorite views of all time. And it was a summer of Punk. It was a great thing. And that place at the L C Arena was nuts. I know a lot of my friends, like uh, Pico, did not went to the event. I think Kevin did not went to the event. I don't think Kyle went to the event. I'm not really too sure, but I I know they were kind of upset they did not went to the event. They just I think they just watched it on the internet or or they order it or they just went to it come to the DVD. But it's a great thing, and I don't know what else to say. But um, it sucks that um sorry I'm just uh, talking about payback real quick. It sucks that why did not win the feud over John Cena. It really fucking sucks. You know, sorry my language, but well, that really pissed me off. That's WWE's two, their favorites. They love Cena and they love Orton. I just yeah, don't know sucks, why. Yeah, it But Orton's not going to be with WWE forever. Same thing for Cena. So they got to make new stars, you know? Yeah. They do make a new stars. I mean, star. Cena, Cena's 38. Orton's got to be at least 35 or 36. I mean, they don't, they don't have much left in the tank. Nope. And I like new stars. That's where they have this NXT stuff, so that's good. I mean, it's nothing against either of those guys. I mean... I respect the hell out, hell out of Cena for what he's done. I mean, he's hasn't took barely any time off in his twelve years with the company. I mean, and he, and he should. I know. He, I I guarantee Cena's gonna get married down the road sooner or later. So what's yeah. more, what's more important for Cena, um, family or health? I mean, actually both, but I actually health is more important than your stupid wrestling. You know, health is more important, but to him, it's honestly, I think the only thing he cares about. He's just going out and just doing what he does for the fans. Yeah, I mean, it, it sucks. I mean, it's not stupid for him, but for us, we don't want to see Cena every single main event, you know. I think that we just want to put it down our, our freaking throats, and that is true. That is damn true. Yeah. So, I know a lot of people are gonna, not going to agree with me, but everyone out there from the YWC, or who's not from the YWC, will not agree with me, but whatever... You have anything else to say before we end this podcast, my man? Uh, I don't think I have anything else to say. Uh, but yeah, before this is over, just go follow me on Twitter, and that's basically it. Yeah. Thanks for having me. No problem, my man. His link will be down there in the in the description box. And um, do you make YouTube videos? Uh, I used to, but I just deleted my channel because I did not have any time to make them. So, but oh, okay. I guess this is my return to YouTube on. Team Rai's channel. Yeah, maybe you make it more videos because you get the summer off, so hopefully you make more videos. And you want to do any quick shout-outs before we end this podcast? Uh, I don't think I have any shout-outs other than my Twitter, but that's about it. Okay, I'll do, a, I'll do a quick shout-out then. Okay, here we go. Hey, Tony, uh, Lucas, Pico, um, Kyle, Kevin, the other Kevin... Uh, Sean Barry, Freaky Yaya, Steven Breach, Luke, uh, my friend, Governor of Football, um, Go Dizzy, hopefully you come back on YouTube, um, Britain, um, and that's all I'm going to say. Um, I'll do a very special podcast edition, uh, very, very shortly, I'm not too sure. Oh yeah, my friend, Just. And that's about it. You want to say goodbye to your viewers, my friend? Uh, thanks for watching this podcast on Team Rai Rai channel. you damn right. So the tag team champions are out of here. Take care, spike it here, and sayonara. Adios, my viewers. Catch you later on the flip side. Woo!